Hello, you guys. Welcome back to another DIY food hack. I have a cool one for you. Today we are making two giant ice cream tacos with the chocolate and sprinkles on top. It's so good. You got to try this one. Now it's a little messy. Let me warn you now because you're working with chocolate and you're working with sprinkles and you're working with ice cream. It was a big giant mess, but it was still cool to make and it was still cool to eat. You're going to need sugar cookies, sprinkles, butter, egg. You'll see it's not a lot. The smuckers failed me. You'll see in the video. We're going to start off by making the sugar cookie that we're going to shape into a taco. Really simple. They sell a cookie mix in a baggie. You're going to put in one egg. You're going to also put in softened butter. Mine was kind of half softened, half melted. It worked. You're going to put that one softened stick of butter in with your cookie mix and one egg. And then you're going to blend, 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 blend until everything is mixed well. So yeah, the Smucker's chocolate failed me, you guys. I was so disappointed. You want to take some non stick spray and spray that puppy down really good. You also want to spray down your spatula. You're going to use the back of that spatula to flatten out your cookie because we want it to be in the shape of a tortilla. Scooping all the cookie dough out. And I'm starting here to kind of shape it into a round taco. Look at my skills. Look at me. Go girl. Go. I'm so fast. Yeah. Look at that. That's a perfect tortilla. Cookie tortilla. Look at that. Beautiful. Then I put it in the oven to bake. You guys have to realize that I'm filming this video at one o'clock in the morning and I have no backup plan. Check out what happens next. So here I'm showing you the cookie. I'm telling you how wonderful it is, how brown. It's perfect. It's still a little bit warm. I didn't want it to cool down too much because I wanted to shape it into a taco and it was breaking it. And I was so upset. So I got a piece of parchment paper and I thought, I'm just gonna flip it over on this parchment paper. The parchment paper will help keep it together. I'm gonna put it over this rolling pin so I can get the shape. I had it all planned in my head. And bam, there it is. I flipped it, cool, right? Fail. My cookie fell. <laughs> My cookie fell apart. <laughs> you guys, it's one o'clock in the morning. What am I gonna do? I had to run to the grocery store at 1 a.m. to get some gigantic jumbo wrap tortillas. By the time I got back home, it was 1.45. I am frying up these giant tortillas. Then I shaped them into a taco shape and I let them cool down completely. And I was able to get two of them made. So you see them there. They're completely cold and ready to be stuffed with ice cream. But first, I thought I'm going to put chocolate all the way around the rim. This is Smucker's Amazing Magic Shell Chocolate that dries instantly. Not. I decide, okay, I'm going to put it all the way around the edge because I want to put some sprinkles around the edge as well. First of all, it's all runny. I thought it was going to be a little thicker than this. And then the second thing, it's not drying. I shook it. I did exactly what it told me to do. So I thought, you know what, just hurry up, put the sprinkles on because this is going to dry and the sprinkles need to be on so they stick. I kept sprinkling on the sprinkles and dumping them out and putting some more on and I, they were staying, but it was not drying. So I thought, okay, put a little bit more. A little more chocolate will not hurt, but it was not working. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to let it sit here. I'm going to let it dry. Give it a minute, Vivian. Be patient. That's what I was telling myself. Girl, calm down. And I decided I'm going to work on this second taco. This time I'm going to start with a caramel. I decide I'm going to put the caramel inside the taco and I'm going to go ahead and put some chocolate in there as well. I'm going to make this a yummy chocolate caramel taco and now we're gonna start putting in the softened ice cream now the ice cream has been sitting out for about 10 minutes so that it's soft and I can put it into the shell without it breaking the bad thing about that is you have to work quickly here because it is starting to melt it's very messy you can see there the chocolate the caramel is all dripping out my ice cream, I'm trying to work as fast as I can to get that. I wanted to get the ice cream all the way up to the rim of that taco. 
So you have to work really, really fast. Make sure you get it in all the little crevices of that taco. And that's what I've done. I was successful all the way up to the top. That is a lot of ice cream. That is a huge taco. So that was a success. Yes. Boom. Second thing was, okay, I'm done stuffing my taco with ice cream. Now I'm going to go ahead and give this magic shell a second chance. I'm a forgiver. Maybe it did not like the taco shell. It's going to love ice cream. It's meant to be poured over ice cream. I put plenty. I, I love chocolate. And let's put some sprinkles on this guy. And then you can see what is happening. Yeah, I got a mudslide. Oh my God. <laughs> All that delicious chocolate is just oozing out. My sprinkles are falling out of this thing. Oh my God, I'm about to have a panic attack at 2 a.m. with some ice cream. So I take it off and I just say, screw it. Whatever is left on this thing is left on this thing. I can't continue to let it sit here and just melt and the chocolate just completely drip all of my sprinkles off of this thing. It was not hardening at all. All right, so there it is. What do you think? Not too bad. It wasn't a complete fail, but it was a total mess. So what I decided to do before it completely melted on me, I got a piece of parchment paper and I wrapped it. I taped it around my taco and I was going to put it in the freezer and I did that so it would protect the ice cream. I didn't want it to get freezer burn. I didn't want anything touching the ice cream. So that's what I did. That first one, done. Now I'm such a clean freak. This was just driving me nuts. So I had to clean, 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 get all this chocolate. There was ice cream everywhere. Now I'm back. I'm calm. I took a nap. Let's do the second one. So again, my softened ice cream. Let's stuff this taco. Mm, look at that vanilla ice cream. So for this one, I was going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to carve a little hole in the middle. You guys know like those Nestle drumsticks where they have like the caramel inside. So I carved a little hole in the middle and I filled it up to the top with caramel sauce. Oh my God. <laughs> and then I thought, screw it, throw in some chocolate too. Oh my God, look at that. Yeah, there's a surprise inside that taco. All right, so now back to more ice cream. So I filled it all the way to the rim, nice and packed in there. What do you think? There it is. This one's a little messier. The chocolate's kind of dripping, but it's gigantic. Now for this one, I did the same thing. I got a piece of parchment paper. I wrapped it around the ice cream taco. I left both of the ice cream tacos in the freezer one full day. I wanted to make sure that that ice cream was frozen through and through. It has been one full day. There is my parchment paper on my taco. And right next to it, I have a beautiful, delicious bowl of melted white chocolate. So I'm gonna seal the outside of this taco with white chocolate so that the ice cream is not just sitting there. It's just not cute. The second ice cream has the chocolate waterfall that you guys saw with sprinkles. And then this one here is going to have the white chocolate. So I just melted some white chocolate in this bowl and I'm just gonna dip the top of the taco all the way around with this chocolate. The chocolate is also going to harden fast. So you guys have to work fast here. I made sure to have my sprinkles right there next to me so that I can quickly start putting sprinkles in. Oh, yes. Look at that chocolate. Why, look at that beautiful chocolate. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh my God, look at that. Make sure that every crevice of this ice cream is covered up. And now, sprinkles. Get those pink sprinkles on that taco. As many as I could get on there before it dried. And as you can see, by this point, the white chocolate was already hardened and it had already dried, so I could not get any more sprinkles on there. And it was done. Once again, the ice cream is starting to melt on me. So, back in the fridge. There they are, you guys. Here is my white chocolate taco with a little bit of caramel surprise inside. And here is my milk chocolate taco with the magic shell. Which one do you love? Number one or number two? I love number one because it's the bigger one and it has white chocolate and it has a caramel surprise in the middle. 
if you have enjoyed this video, if you have been entertained, if you guys want to see more, I want you to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel because I'm bringing you more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.